Hi guys, it's Marty here, and in this quick video we're going to be covering how to improve our page loading times on WordPress by using something called Lazy Load. So normally when we visit a page or post on our website, our internet browser will load up all of the images at once before showing us the page. And if we have a lot of images or we're using larger image files, this can cause our site to lag and increase our loading times, which in turn can negatively affect our search rankings and traffic. But to fix this, we're going to get our images to lazy load, which means instead of the images all loading up at once, only images that will be visible right away will load first, then the other images will load up as we scroll further down the page. Now, there are a few different plugins that all do the same thing, but I'd recommend using a plugin called Smoosh to do this. Smoosh is actually an image compression plugin that has the lazy load feature built into it. And if you want to see more about the image compression side of the plugin, I'll link to a few other videos in the description below to check out after this one. Then, to set up Lazy Load, we first need to install the Smoosh plugin. So we're going to visit our dashboard, hover over Plugins on the left, and click Add New. Then we need to type the word Smoosh into the search bar in the top right, and install and activate this plugin by WPMUDev. Then, once the plugin's active on our site, we can hover over where it now says Smoosh on the left and click Lazy Load. Then, we need to click Activate in the middle, and all of our images will now be lazy. Now, we do have a few options here we can change as well if we like, and I'll quickly run through what these are. So, first we have Media Types. And here we can choose which media types we want to lazy load. They're all checked by default, and I'm just going to leave it as it is. But if there's anything you don't want to lazy load, just uncheck the box beside it. Then under this we have Output Locations, and here we can choose where the lazy load feature will be applied. So we have Content, Widgets, Post Thumbnails, and Gravatars. And Gravatars are just the images that appear beside user comments. Once again, they're all checked by default, but you can uncheck any that you don't want to lazy load. Then below this we have Display and Animation, and here we can choose how we want our images to load into view. By default it's set to Fade In, so the images will fade into view as soon as they're available. Then we also have Spinner, which is a nice little loading animation. Then we have Placeholder, where we can upload a specific image to show until it loads. And then finally we have None, and this just means the image will flash into view as soon as it's ready. And for my example I'm going to choose Spinner, and use one of these animations. Then the next option is Include and Exclude, and here we can choose the post types we want to lazy load. And we can just turn the switch off for any that we don't want to lazy load. But in my example I'm going to leave them all switched on. Then under this we have Post, Pages and URLs, where we can enter the URLs for any specific pages or posts we don't want to lazy load. Then next we have Classes and IDs, which is where we can do the same thing as above, only with individual images. And then finally we have three more options, which are Scripts, Native Lazy Load, and Disable No Script. But to be honest, I'd recommend leaving these alone unless you know exactly what you're doing. Then once we're finished with these options, we just need to click Save in the bottom right, and all of our images will now be lazy. And just to see how much of a difference this would make, I tested my home page using Google Page Insights, both before and after turning on Lazy Load, and just by doing this alone, managed to bring my score from 96 to 97. So that's us now at the end, and that was how to set up Lazy Load on WordPress using the free Smoosh plugin. I really hope you find this video helpful, and if you did, please give it a like to show your support, and consider subscribing to the channel for more WordPress tutorials in future. Once again, my name's Marty, and thank you very much for watching my video.